welcome back to my channel so i'm here today with another bear a fluffy one that i got for my boyfriend He's so cute i think this one is around i don't know how much it is, is it but as you can see because i use it every day it is so fluffy i'm so loving it and this here it's got torn so I fix it <laughs> doesn't look that nice but yeah it's just fine for me how was life in Japan how do you live each day and how much it costs to live there a month can you tell me huh so about living in Japan if you are thinking of like going to Japanese school then that school if you're thinking of joining a university life I think that's gonna be a little bit harder than joining just a Japanese school so about how I was in Japan so I was in Japanese school for one and a half year but for maximum you can stay for like two years maximum i studied in yamanashi i you guys might not know about it but if you know tokyo tokyo is around this area da, 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 like that <laughs> it's gonna be around this area it's covered with a mountain so it's really close to tokyo but you're gonna need something around like three hours to get into tokyo and then for a bus or train that costs you around like you go and come back that's cause you around four thousand yen which yeah very expensive for us <laughs> So I don't really go there that much if I don't have like time. I usually visit my friends. I I went to shopping sometime when I visit my friends. So I usually stay overnight there. I did plan it before like I'm gonna how much I'm gonna spend per month. In Yamanashi is really cheap, so I paid like thirty five thousands. A month and I do need my since I, I bought a new phone my my place didn't have an internet so I, I bought a, a new smartphone which is like the price is higher than the I'm, I'm just gonna use like a flip one of mobile phone that is looks so like Japanese thingy like that so I thought I was gonna do just that and I did bought it I did bought it, you know, pink one, and I gave it to my friends already. That cause a month it doesn't cost that it doesn't cost that much. But if you move, that costs a lots of money, and you do need to pay. If you you can see like if you go to the store, you're gonna see like it's selling you in sale again. That's not true, cause you have to pay. Each month, you have to, you know, keep paying them. Like this one I bought, this one is uh, Note 3. It's, it's under this. It's Note 3. But the special thing about mobile phone in Japan is like here. I use Docomo one. So. This one I pay like um, 8 thousand yen a month I pay for um, the internet unlimited I think it was 7 gigabyte um, I can call for free in my Docomo area friends and I don't I don't really use phone that much since we have since we have line and we have like lots of things so we can call through that so I usually use the internet 
and I paid for the thing that you have to pay for this every month is around like 4,000, 5,000 yen so if you plus that, it's gonna cost you around like 7,000, 8,000 a month depends on what you use the, and for the electricity bill that depends on what kind of place you're living and how much you spend how much you stay in your in your place like if you don't if I don't I don't do a part-time job and I, I usually stay in my room and I use a lot of like uh, electricity for of course my my computer so I did have like um, the first one I was there it was like almost winter I went there on October's and it wasn't that cold it was like a little cold depends on the sun depends on on the day that uh, and I've been there I share a room with my friends and I have a part-time job so so I think they have a limited time for working period for the student visa that we have to do in a month or a week I don't I don't think mine I don't think mine was that bad or over I don't know I'm not so sure about it but I work in a candy factory it wasn't really a candy but sometimes they made like cookie sometimes they made uh, chocolates or something like that and our things to do was like to you know put things into their products into their the box that they give us in time from the machine and we just like keep on doing it so that time I was like I have to get up in the morning to go to uh, my class was in the morning it was lucky me I was in the morning class from the very first so afternoon class usually started from 1 to 4 30 so after I finished my class at 12 13 I went straight to the place where I have to wait for the car to pick me up to, to go to work which is in front of the family, family mat, which is lucky for me so I just went there and buy something I went there, I bought some something that I can eat on the bus on the way to the factory so yeah, it wasn't a good life like what you thought like if you have lots of money then that would be good then that could be great for you if you live so after you get there at the workplace you have to you know rushing into the place that they're gonna have you a locker that you could get changed and you could you know clean up everything you have to keep your hair up and stuff like that you keep to you have to roll out your clothes so that stuff wouldn't be the dirty stuff the dirt stuff like that wouldn't be into their candies so if you finish all of that it's gonna be something around like 115 to or maybe 130 30 around that and then we're gonna rush into our line to get our work done and we have to work until like I think it was 5.30 or 6 I'm not so sure because it was like 4 um, 3 or 4 years ago already so I wasn't I'm not so sure about that so yeah and then I do the night shift as well so let's start from 7 to 10 at night which mean I have some time to you know I bought like uh, made some time I cook some time I just brought a cup, a cup noodles a big one because <laughs> then you know I have to work a lot so I eat lots at a time I 
I bought I bought like a big size of yakisoba. That one I love it. Maybe we got an hours for our break, and then we just keep on doing our work until tens. After we done, we get changed and we say goodbye and we get into and then we get into our car. We it takes us it took us around like twenty minutes or thirty minutes to get into the place where they get us and in front of the family mart. And luckily, I was living really close to that family mart. That's took me around like 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes to walk there. So so when I get home, I I clean my room, I, I cook, I eat, I, I call my mom, I talk to my mom for like an hour, then I, I take a bath, I do stuff until like 3 a.m. in the morning and then I went to sleep and then I get back again in the morning at like 7.30 go to school, go to work and then came back home and you know that's kind of a routine of mine when I get there the first two months I did that for like, yeah I did that for like two months so as I was saying I was working all the time I stay up in my room for just only for like four hours so at the first month that I've been there for for the first month as I've been there I paid like 800 yen only for my electric bill which was so amazing because after that I didn't get a job at all so I have to pay like two thousands or maybe three thousands depends on how much I use but luckily I stay in a place where I don't have to pay for a gas that could run me a hot water which that is actually a very expensive one and for the waters, the water is also expensive in Japan so mine was kind of like free and so that was kind of like how much and how was I spend my day when I was studying in Japan so I hope that helped you guys or if you want to know more just list me your questions <laughs> so that I wouldn't get too dizzy to you know explain you some stuff like that and I'm not good at talking I'm trying to I'm really trying to like so people are trying to make me too yeah so I'm trying if you have any question please tell me please tell me okay bye bye Good luck! See you in the next video! Bye!